Hey, what's up, family? Long time no see. I've been dealing with a lot of shit, including punk ass corona. Um, which, if you know a bit, of, a little bit about herbs and uh, take care of yourself, it's not that deep. Of course, it is for some. I don't want to minimize the situation. But, yeah, but that's not what I want to talk about. I do want to talk about inflammation. Inflammation, and more so than specific um, plants, I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about um, phytochemicals, naturally occurring, plant-derived chemicals. Don't get caught up on the term chemical. A lot of you shy away from the word chemical when the, the world is composed of chemicals. What you're talking about is a. Um, toxin or carcinogen okay of course avoid those like what the fuck but um see this info i'm about to give you is very useful very valuable information i am an educator um, those of you who watch my shit you probably already know this those of you who are watching this now will know that i'm not an entertainer i'm an educator Okay, I'm an herbalist. I'm a holistic practitioner. I am not an entertainer. But you can rest assured, the information that I give you, you can use to enhance the quality of your life and others. I was chosen for this. I am not your average herbalist. I'm just not, and I'm okay with that. Phytochemicals. See, there are thousands of plants, thousands of phytochemicals thousands of plants, different chemicals, but there are some phytochemicals you'll find in many plants. Um, you'll find that many plants share particular chemicals, phytochemicals. And see this here, uh, make you a more efficient healer. It'll um, broaden your scope of healing. It'll broaden your um, repertoire, okay? Many of you say, well, I'm dealing with inflammation, joints, um, musculoskeletal system, nervous system, reproductive system, whatever. So you go get a plant that you heard was an anti-inflammatory. And it may help, probably will help. But if you know what phytochemical and what plants have an affinity to a particular system of the body, you will be more efficient, okay? You'll get better results. What's an affinity? Affinity means a specificity, okay, to a particular system of the body. Let's do this, let's just start like this. Volatile oils. Many plants contain volatile oils. The mint family. You got mint, um, uh, uh, lavender, thyme, basil, sage. What makes them aromatic is what's called volatile oils, okay? Uh, ginger, there are some plants that contain volatile oils that aren't necessarily aromatic, like um, marigold. But, but, if you're having digestive or respiratory inflammation, then it would be best to use a plant with volatile oils because volatile oils, plants that contain them, have an affinity to the digestive and respiratory system. Okay? Next phytochemical, a completely different class of chemical, salicylates. Okay, many of you, whether you know it or not, you're familiar with salicylates because this is the phytochemical which aspirin was derived. The most common sources of this phytochemical are birch and willow trees. This phytochemical, those two trees have an affinity for dress, uh, affinity to the musculoskeletal system. Okay, you're having arthritis, joint pains, 
um, injury, like a, a, a traumatic injury, like you, you broke something or sprained something, hit something, you want to use a plant with um, salicylates. Okay. Um, what's next? Um, resins. Bog bean, devil's claw, frankincense and myrrh, pine tree sap are all examples of um, plants that contain resins. And resins are excellent for immobilizing very severe joint pain and swelling. Okay, but um, I would not suggest you using that unless you're being assisted by some, an experienced herbalist um, or if you had some pretty good training because um, resins can, if you have a pre-existing gut issue, resins can agitate that um, condition. If you're a perfectly healthy person um, and you use resins too often or too much of it, it can develop into gut issues. So I would say there are a lot of other um, effective options as far as herbs and plants go that you can utilize versus taking a risk with resins. You have too many options. This is solely for example. Okay. Um, then we have steroids or steroidal precursors. Phytochemicals once we ingest act as steroids. Okay, this class of phytochemical is excellent for digestive inflammation and inflammation brought upon by um, uh, autoimmune issues. Okay, we got saw palmetto, wild yam is a good one, uh, murupuama, chase tree berry, and many others. Okay. So, when it the information I just gave you, you can run into a plant. You may not know. Here's the thing. You go to Google Scholar. You put in the scientific name of a particular plant. And it'll give you all this research. You'll see um, a chemical analysis on certain plants. And it'll give you all these chemicals but it won't necessarily tell you what those chemicals do, okay? But knowing about certain classes of chemicals, because under the term volatile oil, there are many, okay? But you know, all volatile oils have an affinity for the digestive and respiratory system. So you're doing research on this plant you're not super familiar with, and you find out it has one of these phytochemicals we just went over. Not only do you know if it's anti-inflammatory or not, you know what affinity it has, what it has a, 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 an affinity to, okay? So this will broaden your scope of healing, um, make your repertoire better. You'll be a more efficient healer, okay? That's what this shit is about, is information. Not making you feel good, because the truth often don't make you feel good. The truth sometimes is boring, okay? You can't always, <clears throat> I, I, I can't help you guys with this mental masturbation, okay? It's about the fucking facts, all right? What else? I think that's it for now. Hopefully you guys utilize this shit and appreciate what I'm giving you. Because I didn't just learn this shit overnight. This ain't some shit you just learn overnight. This is something you learn over time. And I'm giving it to you all for free. Alright? Peace.